So I think it's healing up really nice and I'm hoping tomorrow they're gonna tell me that, yeah, you can go back to regular life within a week. I'm not allowed to walk on it or put any pressure on it until December 19th, so. What's up, fools? Hey, how you doing? Um, my appointment tomorrow to get my cast off is tomorrow. And that's tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm really excited because your girl would love to have a normal shower. <laughs> the cool thing is, is I've been putting pressure on it just to see how it feels. Pretty sure I can stand on it. Um, probably shouldn't try too often because I don't want to, of course, do anything stupid. But yeah, I can like stand on it now. So I think it's healing up really nice and I'm hoping tomorrow they're going to tell me that, yeah, you can go back to regular life within a week. Psych! I would love to work. I miss work. I miss cactus. But yeah, I got a different outfit on today. I found some pants that actually go over my cast. I am gonna go outside for the first time in like four or five days with a friend. Kind of like take it easy obviously because I have crutches and it's really dangerous to have crutches when it's icy like that outside. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out a little bit. Just try to get me out of the house because I've been sitting in my room for four days. And then yeah, I will keep you guys updated about what tomorrow's appointment's gonna look like, but I'm really excited. Uh. Okay, I'm back from my um, adventure out. Um, it was fun. I smelled some fresh air. But I want to show you guys something with my really blurry camera. Okay, this is no crutches. Look at this. Here's my cast. You see that? Look. Um, I can walk on it <laughs> and I'm only trying it now because in like eight hours I'll be at the hospital so I'll be getting it off so the risk is very low and I'm going to bed now so it's not a big deal but like do you know how excited I am that I can walk on my leg especially because I was worried that like the muscles and stuff would have been like confused after not being used for a month I guess you need a lot longer than a month to like completely lose that feeling but I thought maybe I'd have to go through like a bunch of physiotherapy which I might still I don't really know how that works but actually my one leg is losing a lot of muscle I realized that yesterday I was feeling the one calf compared to the other calf and there is literally no muscle in my right leg anymore like there's no it's not hard it's just skin <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're on the way to the hospital it'll be um iPhone footage so get ready for that We're back from the hospital. As you can see, I am slightly emotional because um, my next appointment is on December 19th. So that's like a month from now. Yeah. Part of me was kind of hoping that I would be able to do a little bit more. I'm not allowed to walk on it or put any pressure on it until December 19th. So I guess part of me just wished I could uh, do more. But the good thing is, is I can shower and now I have a boot on. So I can take it off and shower, I just can't submerge it. And I have to um, purchase a stool for the shower. Um, and I miss work though. But soon, soon. I'll talk more about it in a few minutes. I'm gonna eat something and then decompress and come back. Tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day. I just decided to relax yesterday and just kick back and I literally just sat in my bed and watched movies and stuff and just went to bed at like 10. Had some soup. It was good soup. 
I just want to talk about what happened yesterday a little bit because I've never experienced something like that before. Um, I they took off my splint and when they took off the splint, the side with the cut was like brown from all like the discharge and the blood and stuff and it was like so gross. It was just like ugh. <laughs> there was 21 staples. I thought there were stitches for some reason, but there was 21 staples that they had to take out. So he went in and pulled each one out with pliers and when it got near my ankle like when there was less fat that hurt so bad oh my god and then it started to like bleed and he's like yeah it looks great it looks like a horror movie i'm gonna um and put a quick little photo of what it looked like here and if you don't like blood or anything gross like that don't watch this um anyway so yeah um Right now I have it in the boot. They said that I can shower, but I can't stand up till my next appointment, which is on December 19th. So I can't stand, so I need to buy a chair for the shower. I can get my foot wet now, but I can't submerge it, so I can't have a bath. Um, I need to continue to take my aspirin and then pay medication if I need. But hey, I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. So back in this uh, air cast boot thing um, that I have complete control to take on and off, which is super nice. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like under here. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> and look how dry my skin is around it. That's bad. Yeah. That's what it looks like right now, and all this tape is on it, so it doesn't um, rip or anything. The skin. But, yeah, it's pretty gross. And then they gave me- I need to put some lotion- look how- look, look at that, what the heck. I'm scared to do anything, though. I feel like I should just leave it for a few days. They gave me this sock to wear for when I'm just, like, chilling. It's also way bigger than I originally thought it was going to be. Like, here. This is my iPhone. It's like a little bit shorter than the iPhone by like that much. What? And this is an iPhone XR. So I thought it was going to be like this, you know, like a tiny little thing. But it's like long. It's the length of my fingers. Like that's like as long as I can really extend my fingers without going like this. They told me I'm allowed to take off the boot when I'm like laying in my bed relaxing like I am now. So I'm going to like lay back let it breathe and yeah so another month guys another month of fun vlogs aren't you excited <laughs> all right it is now noon i am going to try to wash my hair and stuff just try to get ready for the day and we're gonna see if we can find some food to munch on okay 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 i'm gonna quickly wash my hair my face my pits stuff like that in my trusty old bathtub and um, I'll swing back and check in on you guys because I need to start taking care of myself. Uh. Okay, I have some bad news and good news. Good news, uh, I washed my face and my pits. Bad news, I didn't wash my hair because it's up there. I guess I could grab it, should I try to grab? Okay, yeah, no, I just tried. I know it doesn't look like it's that tall, but without me, like, going on my tiptoes, and I literally cannot, because I'm scared I'm gonna fall over. This is me on my tiptoes. I can't grab it. So I'm gonna wait till a family member gets home so they can just grab it and put it down for me. Because I need that to, like, wash my hair. We're gonna brush my hair in the meantime. I mean, it's not even that bad. I just wanna feel clean. And I'm gonna change my shirt, and then we're gonna go and find something to eat. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm just gonna eat whatever I can find left over in the house because it's impossible to cook with no hands. <laughs> Some more aspirin. Gotta keep taking my aspirin, so I'm thirsty. I'm not a fan of this, uh, <clears throat> I'm not the fan of the blood thinning. I've been having a hard time sleeping the last few nights because uh, I'll be getting like weird random nosebleeds and they're pretty bad. And it's I swear it's because of this medication, so... And I talked to them about it and they were like, 
nope, keep taking it. And I was like, okay, well, I can't sleep, so I guess I'll do that and then not sleep, but whatever. My life is hard. Just kidding. No, it's not. It took me three days and I finished Pokemon Scarlet. I just have to say, the story in this game was phenomenal. Like, I literally was crying at the end, bro. Bro. So cute. Please stop. Uh. Bro. So cute. Please stop. Like a lady from Lady and the Tramp. Slurp it in. Slurp it in. Oh, slurp. <laughs> slurp that. He does suck from his straw. <laughs> does he actually? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Talking about this breed, they know how to slurp spaghetti. Mmm. It's ready. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, Milo, do you like it? I think it's actually slurpy. Hey guys, um, I'm on my mom's, as you know, uh, we just watched Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, it was really good, um, just realized that was the same guy that was in Perks of Being a Wallflower, so, yeah, anyway. Yeah, it gets the point. should be smoking dope right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Psych! Good morning, gang. As you can see, I need to wash my hair and do the whole thing. Um, good news is, is my dad's gonna try to find a chair for me to sit in in the shower, so hopefully by next vlog I can flex my new shower chair, but I'm still gonna have to do um, sponge baths to clean myself. So I'm gonna do that in a second here and have a whole glow up montage. It's gonna be really awesome. Yeah, okay, well, I'll see you when I'm pretty. I'm just kidding. You're beautiful without makeup. Ta-da! I didn't put on any makeup, but I washed my hair. I'm just gonna let it dry. I changed my outfit. Guys, I'm wearing jeans. I haven't worn these jeans since I broke my leg because I need to take off the cast to wear them. So now with my trusty boot, and now with my trusty boot, I could take it off and just change the pants, so super convenient. And yeah, anyone else watching have European parents that are watching the World Cup right now because so far Spain is winning seven nothing. Yeah, Canada's playing today. Um, I know one of the players on Team Canada, so I'll be cheering for him. He's the brother of a few of my coworkers. So, yeah. I have multiple friends that are at this game right now. Woo! That's so exciting. Half of them don't look like they know the lyrics. <laughs> I got the glasses like this, the Canadian glasses. Yeah! Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed, make sure to show your support by comment, liking, and subscribing. And if you want to see the rest of the Life on Crutches series, go ahead and you can click here. There's going to be a playlist with everything, so you can watch it from the beginning. And I really love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you later this week, okay? Okay. <laughs>